Hey Internet, it's Colorful Artie, and welcome back to the bonus episode of Balloonorama. Today, we're going to explore the free options we haven't done yet, mainly the custom levels. So here you get to make your own custom levels, so your folders that you have for single player mode don't carry over here. These are all separate from that. So let's type in my name, Artie. And yeah, here's the level editor. So, it's very limited what you can actually do in this level editor, which is kind of a shame. As you can see, uh, you can get, make up to ten levels. They've already got some uh, balloons to start in these. And what you can do is you can erase. You can also change the color of these balloons. However, the bumpers and spinners remain that color, which is why I call them the official colors. So, yeah, we can literally just pick up a balloon. Like, you can put it there. If you want some fatty bear balloons, you can put those around. The backdrop will always be World 2 Car Town. There's nothing you can do about that. These are interesting, because if you choose, uh, change the color of these, it actually changes the prize inside them. So you actually, I don't think you can make levels quite as big as you can in, like, the real uh, Balloonorama, because this is not actually the level editor that the designers used. More on that in a bit. So, we've made a relatively simple level. Or er, hang on. You can also replace those. So I know this level is going to be horrendously ugly, but... That's just the way it goes sometimes. So yeah, we've got a very simple level here. So let's play. Let's get moving, Pep. So that contains the rubber band. That contains the space pep. I want to say the red one contains super pep, and then this one contains a one-up. And the question mark bones, unfortunately, do not uh, move in the level editor. Yeah, sorry. I think that's a one-up. Yep, just a one-up. So now what we want to do is I'm just going to make a very simple level, methinks. So now we can make a level like kind of like that. And this is completely up to you. Like, you can make levels however you want. This is where your creativity comes out. Oh, come on, Pep. But yeah, it's pretty simple. So now what we can do, we can exit. Now if we hit stop, what we can do is we can go to change old levels, select the file, and then you can just modify these at your leisure, and you can see it saved the first two levels that I made. R, or, I can't talk today, I'm sorry. We can hit play custom levels. Wow. Select one of the ones we've done. And bada bing bada boom. So that's pretty simple. Honestly, this level editor is not my favorite by any means. Like, because it's just extremely limited with what you can do. Like, half the balloon options weren't there. We can't make balloons inside other balloons. We can't make layers. We can't put the pigs on the courses. We can't change the background. Just like a lot of basic stuff. So, that's a little disappointing. However, there actually is a way around this. If you are playing on Scum VM, you can actually access the full level editor that the designers used. So first off, I just want to say you don't have to do this. I'm just gonna go here. You want to reset this level? Yeah, if you hit new, uh, make new levels, and then select one of the names already there, it'll completely erase all your levels. So we're gonna go back. So we're gonna go check, change custom levels. So if you're using Scum VM, what you can do? Control D, then say Room. Five. And this is the full level editor that the designers actually used to make these levels. 
So here what we can do is there's this little music note that can disable music in the background of the editor. Or you can turn it back on. The music in the editor will be whatever music was playing in the game before you actually use the ScumVM code to get in here. So I felt it was appropriate to just use the level editor theme for this. So first off, this is the grid. This is where we put the balloons. We can select the balloon, so one, two, three, four, any of these. Left click and it'll insert the balloon there. If you right click, it'll delete the balloon. Uh, over here, you can select uh, special things. So you can be like, I want a pig to go on this row. Or you can choose uh, spaceships to appear in case you want one of those for like a bonus level. And again, you can do that on any of these. So just for kick's sake, I'm going to put pig on every single one. Uh, this right here, this will determine the color of the balloon. So left click and it'll change the color of the main balloon. Right click and it'll change the color of the inside balloon. You can't have the outside and inside color be the same, unfortunately. So yeah, so if we do this, we can make a balloon that is green on the outside and red on the inside, if we so choose. So we'll set some down there. Likewise, I want to say... The... Okay, yeah. So the question mark balloons, you choose this and then I'll say choose a power up. One is Ether Pep, which is Super Pep. Two is Anti Gravity, which is the Space Helmet. Three is Limo Pop Pot, you know that. Four is an Extra Life, and five is Stick, which is not does not mean like, hey, look, it's a stick. It means Pep will stick to you when he touches you. Therefore, Magnet Boots. So one is Super Pep. Two is Space Helmet. Three is Rubber Band. Four is Extra Life, and five is the Magnet Boots. I like Super Pep, so I'm going to type in one and hit Enter. And choose speed. So you can make it fast to the left, slow to the left, <laughs> fast to the right, or slow to the right. This will basically determine how fast the uh, balloon will move. So let's make it fast to the left. So one. And as you can see, it is red and green, just like we indicated. We can click backdrop here, and it'll change what world it'll uh, be in. So we can do Car Town. I'm going to do, of course, my favorite, Fatty Bear's House. There we go. So what else? Oh yeah, so let's say you take a candy balloon and you want to place it down. It'll say enter the number of candies. Obviously four is the best, so we're going to do that. The paint buckets. The outside of the balloon determines one thing. The inside, I believe, determines the color of the bucket. Yep. So, for example, if we change it to orange, now it's an orange bucket. So that's kind of cool. Likewise, for the garbage balloons, enter the a quantity of cruddy stuff. Let's just do one. Uh, you can make these. I think these might just be for the bonus levels. Enter the number of Martians for... But we'll try those. I, this is kind of my first time using the editor. I just familiarized myself with doing this beforehand. So, these are the balloons with smaller balloons inside them. So, as you can see, that'll be a white balloon with a red balloon inside. Or we can make a clam like that. That'll make a blue and white spinner. So now I'm sure you're wondering, how do you make regenerated balloons? You need to click on this norm button. Delay? This will determine uh, the delay between balloons. So then there's also reg 1 through 5. So let's make the... Uh, let's make one of these balloons regenerate. The green one. So we go to delay, put it here. Select regeneration delay time in seconds. So you can make it one second delay or 60 second delay. Let's just make it a one second delay. Now if we go to Ridge 2 and we put another balloon there, Ridge, uh, like if we put a new balloon there for every Ridge, that'll may, uh, determine how many times it'll regenerate. So in this case, we have the balloon on the outside, a delay second of one, and then five more balloons after that. So that means when we pop that balloon, one second later, a new balloon will regenerate, and it'll do that five times. So that's kind of cool. And also, we can test our levels if we so choose.
How creepy. But yeah, this is... It's relatively simple once you get the hang of it. Let's make a bumper that looks like that. Yeah. Alright. So now we can hit test level. Let's get moving, Pep. And as you can see, much more advanced than the other ones. And it looks like our regenerating balloon is not working properly. There we go. That is not a one second delay at all, but alright. Yeah, this is kind of cool. So yeah, you can see the pigs just will appear at random in any of the rows. After you've cleared out all the balloons. And once you clear the level, it'll just reset until you hit exit. In which case, it'll bring you back to the main menu of the game. It's just proof of concept if we do room 5 again. It'll actually save your level, which is pretty cool. However, if you leave the game and come back, it actually still might save the level, but in this case you can only save one at a time. If you want to actually officially save the level, we can save this as test level. And what this will do is if you go to the scum VM like data folder, I'll post a link in the description showing you where to look, it'll actually save that file there. And if you want, you can actually overwrite the actual game's levels to put these custom levels in. So hypothetically, you can make your own, like, version of Balloonorama with your own, like, interesting levels. I don't think anyone's done that, because, let's be honest, Balloonorama's not the best junior arcade game. I will go more into detail on this on a different junior arcade game, which I actually have made a lot of custom levels for. And it's pretty cool. Also, I have to put a pig in here. Boink, boink, boink. Yes. And everything is right with the world. Alright, I think that's everything I wanted to cover. Let me just try experimenting with more of this. So if we go to room one... <laughs> that'll take us to this. And that, I think, screws everything up. Room two... <laughs> the title. Room three... It appears to be level one. If we go to room four... Also, oh, if you hit Control F, it'll go in fast forward mode, so that's part of it. Is there a room six? Yep. Room seven. Come on, pet. Room eight. <laughs> this is the level editor. That's a weird smile, pup pot. <laughs> This is what happens when you use the debug menu in Scum VM. Weird stuff can have start happening. Hang on tight to those balloons, Pep. <laughs> Room ten. Hang on tight to those balloons, Pep. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Pup, oh, I broke the game. Pup, it's just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you broke the game. Great job, Pep. We beat the game. Pep. So heads up, if you want to just see the ending sequence, go to Room Eleven. And ScumVM has stopped working, that's because I tried to access a room that does not exist. So that, I think, is the best way to end the video. Thank you very much for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you guys for my next Let's Play. I hope this uh, interested you, and or you found some entertainment from this. And who knows? If you make your own version of Balloonorama, please let me know and post videos of it, because I actually would like to see that. Anyways, have a great day, and God bless.